Hey everybody, so I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick demo of uh, Batacera running on the Egret 2 mini console. So we're just going to go ahead and fire it up and get right to it. Main thing I want you to see here is just that it it does boot up. And we're going to, I'll run through a few games just to kind of show it working. <clears throat> There's the uh, Batacera splash screen. The splash video is going to play next, and then you'll notice that it's kind of like over, like inflated, overblown. It, it's like huge, so it doesn't actually show the full video. It shows part of it. Um, <clears throat> that's not, again, that's not a priority with this. This is just, the whole point was to get, uh, to get uh, Betacera Linux running on, on this system. So there it is. So there's the system. There's some stuff in here. But the um, first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and do a, like a Street Fighter game. This is Street Fighter 3 Champion Edition. You can go ahead and get right into it. Just to show the use of, you know, the six button controller. All six buttons. I want to see if I can dial in on the screen a little bit better too. So, uh, not so much zoom, but just to where you can see it clear. Right. Put some coins. Do all the punches and the kicks. All right. So, I mean, you can see that it's working, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of there. It's kind of cool. You can hear it too. So audio's working. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and get a Neo Geo game going. I think after this, I'll just uh, I guess I'll I'll run it like a PlayStation game so that you can see how that works. Let's do Metal Slug X. It's kind of dark, huh? Some blood.
All right, so you get the idea. It's running, right? So let's go ahead and get out of there. I, I can, <laughs> I could spend a lot of time on that game. Uh, let's go ahead and try a PlayStation game. So like Tekken 3, right? That's always like one that everyone's wanting to test. Um, I have R-Type Delta, Strider 2, and Tekken 3. I guess I'll, I'll run Tekken 3. It does have some audio issues, I think, but, um, yeah, what the hell, let's go ahead and run it. Like, this type of a system, given what it has, like the, the onboard chipset, whatever, I, I don't really have high expectations, like, beyond PlayStation. Uh, like, I don't expect to see, I haven't even tried it, but I don't expect to have, like, nice running Dreamcast and um, larger systems like that, Nintendo 64. But, you know, all your 8-bit, 16-bit, and a lot of arcade games should run really well. I figure why not just play the whole intro, right? Just for fun. Now, I haven't played a lot of this game. I'm not super familiar with it, so if you're watching, you'll know more or, or less what, what's going on with it, whether it's, whether it's doing all right or... So, I mean, there's a little Tekken 3. I, I don't remember doing a, like a shooter. Did I do a shooter earlier? Dude, I don't remember. It's late. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I, let me see. What did I do? I did Street Fighter. Then I went to Metal Slug. And then this, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try a shooter. Let's do a vertical shooter. Plus, this is like the third or fourth time I tried recording this video, so... It's like a, all a blur. So let's go ahead and do this one. This is uh, Dudonpachi. Or Dodonpachi. How do you say it? I don't, I don't know. So when it comes to vertical shooters, you can set all vertical layout games to, to run with a rotated screen. <clears throat> um, I, I mean, at this moment, it's not like the stock system where it responds to you rotating the screen. But, I mean, it still works, which is cool. Let's see if I can get a better shot. You can 
can see the screen better this way. That's pretty good right there. All right. Um, but, it, I mean, it fills up the screen, and it does rotate, so... So it's pretty neat that you can that it works. You just have to rotate the screen back when you're going back into your menu to navigate through other games. Haven't haven't really tweaked it to where it just displays in vertical mode. So essentially you could set up, I'm sure you could set it up to where it's just always in the vertical setup, you know, even in your menu. But I've I've not messed with that. I just wanted to see if I can get the screen to rotate at all. To play these types of games, which it does, which is really cool. So here you can just see the demo happening, which is really neat. But just to show that it is working, here's the screen. Get the ship. And there you go. But yeah, just a quick demo showing the um, showing Batasara running on the Egret 2 Mini. But like I said, just stay tuned. I mean, there there is work being done on both systems, but uh, the work that that's uh, getting looked into for the Egret 2 is actually to learn more about uh, accomplishing some things with the Astro City Mini. So. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick demo. It's pretty neat. Hopefully you guys thought this was uh, interesting. But like I said, just you know, stay tuned to the channel. And uh, thanks for you know for those of you who have subscribed. <clears throat> if you like the content, of course, you know, push the like button so that this can kind of get pushed up to uh, those that are maybe searching for information on this system. But yeah, thanks for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed the, the, you know, the little demonstration that I did on it. Um, what do we have for brawlers?